I get a lot of questions about this, um, often get questions, and uh, I'm just going to clear it up right now, just do a video about it. Uh, this is how to uh, tune a subwoofer box. Um, so that by tune I mean you know, a certain frequency that you want, how to tune your port, how long to make it, you know, at a certain size that you're making it. So first of all we've got a box here, um, just a make-believe box, none of this is to scale but we'll just roll with it. So we've got a 12 inch woofer, okay. Now we've got the box 39 centimeters high, 43 centimeters wide, and uh, 45 centimeters deep. Okay. So the way we're going to work this out mathematically is we're going to make this out of 16 mil MDF, right? So this is the outside volume. So we're going to have to go to the internal. So the internal is going to end 36, okay, 40, and 42 internally. Then all we're going to do with that is go three. 0.6, uh, 4, 4, 4 times 4.2, so we just move the decimal place to the left 1, okay, and uh, that's it right there. Now we're going to go to a calculator, okay, so we're going to go 4.2 times 4 times 3.6, so we've got a 60 litre box. Now you might want to minus off bracing, okay, so we've got 60 litres, got a 60 litre box, and um, a cu one cubic foot is 28.9 litres. So let's just say it's exactly two cubes after bracing. Okay, just to make it simple, just to make it simple. So that's how we've worked out the size of our box. Now that we've got that done and worked out, we're going to design our port. Now, the problem with a port is um, you've got to work out what's going to fit and, um, and also sound good at the same time. So you can't have it too small but you can't have a one that's going to be extremely long or um, you know not fit inside the dimensions of your box so you've got to work out the size and length that you can allow okay so we're going to come on to the 12 voltcom which is my favorite website to use for this okay and we're going to go down and uh, so say we're going to do a slot port we're going to go to the I think I went past it there we go, the slot port calculator Okay, so we've already worked out that our box is two cubic feet. So we're going to put it as two cubes. Okay, and we want to tune to about 35 hertz. And now, the height of the box is 14 inches. So let's go 14 is going to be the, uh, no, wait, that's the wrong one. The height is going to be 14 because that's the height of our box. Um, that's not, that's the inner height of our box. So let's just try a width of 2 inches, which gives us a 22, uh, 28 square inch port, which is about the right size. And it's going to need to be 26 inches long. Now, 26 inches, uh, the total length of this box here is only 12 uh, for the 30. It's going to be about 18, no, 17 inches, the internal size. Okay, so 26 is going to be far too big to fit in that box if we want to go straight. Okay, now that's with a port that's going to look something like this. Okay, just a big slot just on the side of your box. As I said, none of this is to scale, this is purely just mathematically how to work it out. So your port's going to come in here and it's going to go too far back. Now, the width of your port is 2 inches here. So you're going to want it come because you can go a maximum of 17 to the back here. You're going to have to leave 2. So you're going to have to come down here leave two inches so you're going to have 15 okay that's there so you've got 15 and there's a two inch gap then you're going to have to wrap around this way and continue 11 inches okay so then you can get your full um, full length of your port the full 26 now that box now doesn't matter what what shape it is or whatever that box now is tuned to 35 hertz okay Yes, there'll be other factors that will change the box, um, the woofer displacement, the size of your woofer, you know, um, bracing, as I said, uh, silicon, glue, everything will change it slightly. But hopefully that thing there is around the 35 hertz after you tune that. So uh, that's about it, really. That's how you work it out. See, that port is, you know, that's a pain in the ass to make that. So, I mean, you could do different configurations if you wanted to go smaller. Um, it, it'll make it shorter. If you wanted to tune higher, it'll make it short. If you want to tune lower, it'll make it longer. Um, 
The thing is, you're going to want per cubic foot, I've been told, and it's and I'm pretty happy with it, per cube, you're going to want about 15 okay, square inches. So about 15 square inches of port area per cubic foot. So as I said, this is 2 by 14. So uh, 2 by 14 is going to give us 28. So that's 14 per cubic foot, which is pretty good. 14, you know, that's pretty good. So I wouldn't be going, it depends, again, it depends on your woofer. If you're going to have a high-powered system and it's going to be moving a lot, your woofer is going to be, and it's a, a high X-Max woofer, then uh, you might want to make sure you stick to this. If it's not going to be a, stu a super stupidly high powered system and it's you know just a very very basic simple woofer you know you could go down to as low as you know 10 or 12 per cube but um, that's really how to work out your tuning okay go to the 12 volt.com put in those numbers and uh, yeah so you can just play around with what type of port to work uh, you can also do the round ports on it okay it has the calculator for circle ports as well um, but uh, I was just mainly showing the slot port today but the main thing is how to work out the size of your box and just put in the numbers and it'll tell you what you need. Now when you think you're all done and you've got your box size and you're real happy because you've worked it all out and you got your port, then it comes to the other bad news which is the port is taking up space inside your box. So now you work out, you've got your 60 litre box and you've got to work out the size of this. So we'll remember that's 36 centimetres, so it's 3.6 times 5, uh, 2 inches which is 5 centimetres, is 0.5 and now we've got this length which is 26 inches which is about 65 centimeters times 6.5 will give you about 12 liters so then you've got to say to minus those 12 liters off your, 40, off your 60 so it gives you a 48 liter box so you might find out that the 1.6 cubic feet box is not big enough for your woofer and so then you've got to read all, read all start again and make the box bigger to start with but making the box bigger to start with means you've got to make your port bigger to start with and that becomes the difficulty in designing a box that will work and sound good in the right size so uh, anyway that clears up how to do it if you've already kind of made your box and you're just uh, wanting to make the length but um, when you when you're designing a box there's a lot more to think about there.